Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Russian Fishing 4. Last episode, had a pretty slow day, or a slow episode trying to get stuff in, so we're going to try to make up for that by cranking out and go for... Oh, my bad. That's not the rod I want. I actually want the bottom fishing rods. So we're going to try cranking out and getting some bigger fish by trying to fish in deeper water. See how that'll go for us. Okay, there we go. That one's prepped. Change that back over the caster. Give that a good toss out. I'm going to probably save the casters just for the bottom rods because they can go out into much deeper water. And then see what we want to put on our float rod here. Uh, maybe we'll work at stuff like the pearl barley in that, which is kind of lower in the stockpile. And yeah, we'll see how each of these go. And hopefully we can get a little bit more fish activity this episode and get us closer to the 18,000 we'll need. And we've actually reached episode 50 of Russian Fishing 4. How much further I'll go with the game, I'm not entirely sure. I'd like to try to get us to these next two areas before, like, we might take a break for a while for it, because it's been going for a while. But we'll have to see just how it all goes along once we can open the areas up. Because, again, I don't think I'd be doing another experience grind with how... how it can kind of go. Like, as you can see, it can be a bit slow at times trying for it. It is a fishing game. You have to have patience in that. And when it does come to videos and the content, there's not much you can do to spruce this up. You could try doing, like, edit special effects going on, but let's face it, there's nothing happening until waiting for something to go. So yeah, I'll probably at least show off the new areas we can get to. It does seem like it's going to be a bit longer than planned to get to there. But then after we've shown off those new areas and spent maybe a couple of weekends or so on each, I may look at taking a break from Russian Fishing 4. Just because we have been playing for quite a while now with it. I think we're up to episode 50, which means we've been doing this for 25 weekends. So, I don't know if that's been a full year or not. I feel like it might have been. I'm trying to think, one month is about four. Okay, so half a year's worth, I guess. Either way, though, we have been covering a lot of Russian Fishing 4, and I think everybody can attest that I might have stuck with it longer than the naysayers thought I would. Oh. Floats down. Wait a moment. Bring in. Oh. So maybe my thinking wasn't quite right. Because I was really hoping it was just the, okay, pick it up, give it a moment, then bring in and you will have a fish on. But no, that's a lie. So, the float rod is going to still drive me crazy. And these two... Nothing. I don't know if it's just like a bad day to go fishing or what it is, but... We've been lucky to get the six so far. And we should be facing out to... Yeah. The cast probably should have gone out to the deeper water, so I can't imagine that's... an issue. There's no chime or anything for those two yet. Oh. Okay, you're showing some interest, but again, it's so hard to read this thing. Oh, it was just starting to come up. I mean, the nice thing is, it doesn't seem like I'm losing bait for all these attempts where I think there's something on, but there's not. But I don't really have anything else I can do while I just leave these be. I think that's probably the main reason why fishing is so much more of a mini-game you see included in a lot of stuff than a main focus for a game. Because at least mini-game, you can sneak it in and it's a nice little thing you can just like either do on its own for a little bit and then go back to other stuff, or... You could just like plant, plant a rod or a setup or a trap or something and then come back and check. You can stay a little bit more engaged with it.
I see, I'm surprised the casters, for having changed and put those on, I thought they would have been a little bit more productive. There is just nothing at the moment. Nope. Ah, finally something, although, again, it's not the definitive we're ready to bring that line in. It's just something really having fun with it. There we go. That's our cue. Yeah, let's see what we got. Probably gonna be about an average. I'm thinking maybe 300 to 500 grams for whatever is on the end. I've started to kind of get a little bit of un seeing the pattern to like the tension meter and what we catch. Yeah, 336. Ah, oh, it's not even really worth it. Again, this is the thing. If I do want to really speed us up, well, I wouldn't say really speed us up. If I did want to try to go for all the experience I could, I'd release the fish. No, oh, okay, this has to be ready to be brought in because that float is moving pretty good. Oh, I... You know what? I'm sick of this rod. I'm sick of the float fishing. I... Until it makes more sense for how it actually operates, I'm not doing that anymore. I'd rather try and fail with this, because I at least have a better chance of bringing a fish in on it. Is that float one? I don't know. I feel like it needs a redesign, because the patterns are so weird to it. Like, the only way the float could be underwater is if something is putting enough tension on the line that it's held there. But so often, you just pull up nothing with it. I thought that line for a moment was going. I guess not. We'll just keep trying with this. Again, I've, I've gone back and forth through so many different lures and baits, I don't know what actually does what anymore. I think I might just have to go back to putting the basic worms on these two lines and seeing if that does something. So far, nothing is going on with the rods, really. Like, at least one of them did have a fish on that we brought in, but the other one... For whatever reason, it's been sitting through for a while and hasn't even had a single chime go on. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, again, I think this is another one of the 300 to 500 gram range. It's just kind of keeping right in that little area from the bottom. I think if it's more towards a kilogram or so, it gets towards like the orange mark, and bigger goes beyond that. Yeah, 436. Okay, you know what? Because of how long it has been taking, I'm gonna go... I think it was just the basic worms that were giving us like the variety of almost anything seemed to hit them. And I hate myself, but I'm going to change this to the basic worm, too. And you... that has had not a single thing to it. I'm bringing you in and changing you up as well. Okay, maybe today's just a basic worm day. I've been using the wrong bait. Because that's already the second bottom fishing rod seeing action. God, uh, 
might not even see 10 fish this weekend. Like, we're only at 8 right now. Yeah, well, I uh, might not even get a thousand experience. I think we'll be able to crack to 14,000 experience, but I don't think we'll get much further than that. Just seems to be a bad day or an off day for trying in this area. But yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, okay, starting to see a little bit on this rod. Of course, that's always a gamble on if anything actually does happen to it. There we go. Although, oh! Ooh, that is a lot of experience. You know what? I'm going to release you. Yeah, that was worth it. If there are any that give us like a hundred extra experience for being released, I think they are ones I should do. Ooh. Looks like this is ready to be brought in. This, it might be 750 gram for the size of this one. It's definitely more than the three to 500 range I was thinking of. It has kind of gotten close to the orange a bit more, but not quite, so we'll see how big this one is. Looks like another bream. Yeah. Okay, no extra bonus there, so we might as well keep this. But thanks to that one bleak we did just catch, that's brought us up to well over the 14,000 mark, so if we can get another surprisingly big one like that, we might be able to even get us to 15. Oh, finally you show something going on. I just need to be a little more definitive. That's it. At least I thought it was. Yeah, we'll bring it in and see. It's possible it's just a really small fish, but I also may have been a little bit too quick on it. Yeah, I was a bit too quick on it. Okay. Oh, and now there's the other one going. Okay. I'll leave those and see about this one again. Okay, so technically we did crack the 10 fish for the weekend. Not exactly my highest record of catches, but at least we were able to make some decent progress. I think in order to try and get us closer and closer to that 18, I will see about uh, releasing more fish if the option is available. It does suck because they do have to be some decently sized fish of their species to do so, which does mean we'll be missing out on the silver. But I think I've got enough gear that we don't urgently need to save up as much as we can. Okay, you're... Ah, see, even with getting pulled along like that, didn't want to count. It seems like some weekends I can read that rod no problem and act and get fish on it reliably. Others, it's like a freaking enigma. You never know what the right moment is. And now we just got to keep doing the waiting game till something happens. Ah, 
I mean, I could use the shovel. Ooh. I could use the shovel, try to get us some bait or something, but I feel like I want to kind of keep what energy we've got for now. Maybe do that towards the end of the episode or something. Although, another thing about that is just like how much it takes to also like slowly level yourself up. Because every time you use the shovel, I think it's only like 0.2%. Ooh, okay, there's something we can act on. Oh, it's another little tiny thing. I'm at least bringing it in, because again, it is a fish. Um, oh, a Chinese sleeper? That's a bit odd to get on a bottom line. Uh, yeah, I'm going to release. I said I was going to try to speed us up, so I'm going to keep that up. Wait a moment. There we go, just make sure. And yeah, the lines are both taut. There's been no chimes. Just gotta keep on waiting. Oh, this is... Yeah, again, I definitely think... I might need to look at... Uh, once we can see the new areas a little bit, try s catching a few species there on that. No, oh, finally that one's going. Well, a little bit. I think I do need a little bit of a break from Russian Fishing 4. Just because we've been sitting watching the lines for so long now. Uh, it is a little slack looking for the line, but I don't know if that's enough to work off of yet. I'll give it a little bit more time and see. It could be something like a rough on there, but same time too, I don't know for sure. Oh, there we go. And this might be 500 to 750 range for weight. I'll just steadily bring it in and see what we got. Uh, looks like maybe another roach, possibly a bream. No, it's a bream. No, oh, actually higher than I thought, but again, no option for the extra. Okay, we'll toss this one out once more. And my guess is because of the time it is taking for anything to strike, we'll only get one more on each line, possibly. Yeah, so these will be the last lines out. Now oh, we didn't even crack the 15,000, so... We're probably going to have another weekend, or maybe even two more weekends, before we'll be able to... hit that, uh, level 12. And just gotta wait it out and see what happens. Yeah, it's a good thing that I kind of throw in my little commentary here and there, because could you imagine just like an entire episode sitting, just watching and only talking when something actually went after one of the lines? Like, I think that's one of the hardest parts of trying to do this experience grind is there, you can see a little bit of action on Winding Rivulet with the spinning rod, but it is also a lot of guesswork of what bait or what lure is actually working for it. And then if you are working the spinning rods, uh, the bottom fishing in the float one don't really work in the same areas on that map. Almost has to be like you'll leave the rods in that one little cove and then work on the rivulet with uh, the spinning rod. A 
Chan. Not a single thing at any line right now. Like not even the little teases or pokes or prods at the float rod. I just think I got an awful day and chose the wrong spot for the map. No. Okay, finally some action, although, again, it's not definitive, it's just there's interest. Well, we'll keep watching in case it does have the steady pull and goes down. Oh. There we go. Ooh, actually. That's a... Okay, it looks like we might have a good payoff here. It's probably a kilogram, maybe even bigger. I'm not going to increase the uh, friction break. I think this is at a good spot right now where it is. We'll just keep slowly reeling in and try to keep it straight on so that way there's not more tension to the line. Okay, what are you? Because you're pretty chunky. You're another common carp. Okay, although... Again, weirdly enough, there's no release in. Okay, well, we'll hold on to that. And, uh, I'd love for something good size on either of these lines, because another 100 and we would have hit the 15,000. But I don't know if we'll get lucky enough. Yeah, see, nothing has been on this line at all, so I might as well bring this in. I think I gotta do the same with this one. Not sure what it was about this weekend, but it was definitely not one of our best ones. We'll take a quick dash back to uh, the main area, see if we did manage to get any of the cafe orders done. I highly doubt it. Like, maybe there was a random order for... Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen a... Just... There has been orders for common carps. They've just all been very large sizes for what I've been catching. Things probably too big for what I could land. Yeah, put that away. And let's just do our jog back. We do have a little bit of a way to go, but it shouldn't take us too long. Alex watering place. Uh, we should probably see the campsite in just a little bit here. Yeah, there it is. And then we just gotta go around in there. It might actually have been faster if I did the loading screens to travel back and forth, but eh, whatever. We'll see if we manage to get anything from our timeout or not. Or if we manage to get a cafe order. We can still at least sell what we caught. Probably won't be for too much silver, but it is at least a little something for our troubles. Okay, let's see. Uh, we only caught the one carp. So that doesn't really work. We only caught the, f two, the four roaches, so they don't work there. Yeah, see? Needs to be three kilograms for that. And needs to be three reams of a kilogram. Ah, that needs three. We let the one go, I think. We didn't even catch a gibble. Yeah, nothing for the orders. But at least maybe we'll be able to sell these for a little chunk. Let's see. Not even ten silver. God, this was an atrocious weekend. Hopefully next weekend will be a little bit better, and again, I think I might try taking the boat out and trying for the really deep water, and we'll see what happens there. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Russian Fishing 4. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to the comments right down below. Until I do see you on the next video or episode, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.